week, <coughs> excuse me, week number six of 2023. Um, let's go straight into it. I've got a hard stop after half an hour. We are looking at a data set about small business applications and loan amounts by race and ethnicity. So you've probably already found this data if you've participated. For, the, for those who are new, on the Makeover Monday website, makeovermonday.co.uk slash data, you will find for each week what the date is, the link to the data set, the link to Andy's Watch Me This, so the live stream he does, link to this review, and then, of course, the source article and the data source. Let's have a quick look at this source article. And here we have business ownership. Um, I'm guessing, oh, I don't know which this was the starting point, but there's a few. So, um, yeah, let's go with that. And let's go straight to Twitter where people have posted their work. I'm sorting the Makeup of Monday hashtag by the latest submissions. And this one is about last week's data set. So I'm going to skip the pizza data sets and small pizza ah here we go so here is the first this with this new data set let's see if you tuned in um i hope you can hear me i'm sure you can because otherwise i would have been complaints but feel free to say hi in the chat if you are and where you're dialing in from so this this is by i don't know Tamabol, don't know who that is. Um, doesn't say it on the on the viz either. Always put your name on there because if your picture gets used somewhere else, you want to make sure that your credentials are on there as the creator. Um, so small business applications and loan amounts. First notice, thing I notice is make the title bigger because it looks not much different from the rest of the text and you want the title to be punchy and easy to recognize. Um, the next observation is that before I get any information or story, I'm asked to do things to interact with two pretty uninspiring filters. Uh, approval date, I don't really care. And program, I don't know what 7A or 504 is. And then the color legend starts with insufficient data. So just being honest here, that doesn't give me a great deal of confidence in what's to come because okay, I've just left all the filters because I can't be bothered doing anything until I know whether it's worth my time. But I also see insufficient data. Okay, so is this worth looking at? I don't know. It's not the strongest opening. And that's what you always have to keep in mind, that the things you put at the top, especially top left for, you know, most people who read left to right, um, that is prime real estate on the page. So you want to make that punchy and impactful. Overall overview was percentiles. Yeah, there's, there's something there. There's some white text. I can't read it. Something workspace, but I can't read it. It's white on light gray. But what's what does overall overview with percentiles mean? Like it, it literally does not inspire me to click on it because it's quite technical language. It doesn't tell me anything. There's no insights. The top 25% of bore states, what are bore states? Account for roughly 70% of total gross that's misspelled gross approval what's what is bore states well i don't know but i would like to know um and that would be great to know and i'm not going to look it up well i could look it up but you know i expect the list to tell me those very specific terms and to define them for me um yeah it's it's literally it's just a visualization it's not really taking the data and giving me insights and giving me something more than just numbers visualized differently. Now, of course, it's something you can do, but it's a missed opportunity to educate people, inspire them, inform them, whatever you would like them to take away from it. So when I read the title, small business applications and loan amounts, well, where are these loan amounts? Because all I see is percentages. There's something at the bottom around millions, but I don't really you know, it says gross approval sum and average. It doesn't tell me, is this the loan amount? Um, what does this even mean? So what I'm curious about when I just read the title is, okay, where which states have the highest 
number of businesses being opened in a given year or in a given time period and how many use a loan and how big is that loan like that would be something I'm interested in um, where do we see the entrepreneurs and is it that certain types of businesses or you know businesses that open attract certain types of loans or require certain types of loans so if I'm thinking tech startup yeah they probably need a bigger loan than somebody who um, you know just needs a small loan for starting a catering service or something so yeah that would be my feedback here I think visually there's not really much wrong with it apart from the font being so small it this looks like eight point font which um, is a bit of a crime for the the old eyes uh, so don't make your people don't make your readers strain when they look at your visas and yeah I'm going to move on to the next one uh, okay, this is by Yuzuki. Um, and another comment, and this applies to the previous one as well. I would recommend not to put your Makeover Monday um, abbreviation in the title of your viz, just because it looks quite messy. And if people, you know, if if the title gets cut off and this is all they see, they would never click on it small business applications and loan amount has a higher chance of getting interactions. So mouse over, again, I'm being told something to do something, but give me, give me something interesting before you ask me to interact because I don't want to have to interact to see if I'm even interested in the topic. Now, I will interact because this is what I'm here for, for, for this time every week. But if you think about it in, in business, you know, unless people really know what this report is about, and they go straight to whatever the numbers are, give them a bit of something interesting first to highlight the years and months in the nearby amount range. What? So highlighting, so if I highlight, okay, so if I hover over January, nothing happens. Do I need to click? So mouse over doesn't actually do anything. And I don't know what this visualization shows. So I'm going to move on um, because I don't know what else I could add there. We have um, Michael, Michael Arpao, or yeah. Um, top 10 lending banks in the US, borrows and business types considered. Okay, this is the same data set, but it's a very different approach. Um, and when I read something like top 10, in, immediately I think, oh, I wonder what this is about. So lending banks, okay, that I find that personally interesting. I'm interested in financial stuff. Um, and then what I don't understand in the title is the borrowers and business types considered. That might be better off as a subtitle, but it's a full sentence. <clears throat> so because the borrowers and the business types don't actually immediately have something to do with the top 10 lending banks. I'm assuming the banks filter the rest of it, but as a subtitle, it could be, you know, top 10 lending banks in, in the USA. Um, um, you know, kind of ex explore the top lenders, um, who they lend to and where, or some, something like that. So. I like that you've called out borrowers and business types, but I find in the title it's probably not necessary and I don't even understand the connection until I then explore it. So let's click it. Let's click Wells Fargo. So it looks like the map didn't filter. It just went gray. And which business received the most loans? So is this across all years, because this is a lot of money. That's like 12 trillion, isn't it? No, 12 billion, sorry. Is this just for one year? Or what's the time period? Um, Live Oak Banking Company, never heard of it. Seems to be a big lender though. So the filter for the banks doesn't seem to filter the map. Well, it does filter the map, but for some reason, the map gets really grayed out and I don't know what that's all about. So if I remove the filter and show everything and I now click on the types of businesses. Yeah, something funky is going on with your map. 
um, you might want to have a look at that. And what you could also do, consider is, uh, okay, so the filter does filter the banks on the left, they just hardly change. So um, it wasn't that noticeable, but I've mentioned for individual, it might look very different. Yeah. Okay. So what I would like to know now is what's the conclusion? So the layout is great. I like um, in the style with the fonts and stuff. And I think the, the interactivity is good. Just check that the map works. But what am I supposed to take away from it? Because it's still up to me as the reader to figure out what these amounts are and, um, and how to tie this together. So could you, on the right side, you've got plenty of room in this gray box. And it doesn't have to be dynamic. It could just be, you know, for like, I don't know, Wells Fargo is the biggest lender for corporations or something like that, and give us some numbers just so that it helps explain how to actually interpret these charts together and how to use them to filter each other. But also, yeah, to 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 have a bit of a, a bit of insights because at the moment, again, when it, come, when it comes down to it, it's just the data visualization, but there isn't really much additional stuff shared. Um, and I think that would be interesting. And that's your challenge uh, for, the, for the next time or for updating this one. So there's Andy's viz. I'm gonna skip him for now and see how many else we have. Wi-Fi speed. We have Rika. Okay, how much four of, of five or four loans should be loans have been, well, how many loans have been I guess it's not really how many, because it's not the number of loans, but um, um, how much credit has been given via four, five or four loans to small businesses from 2009. Okay, and the one expectation I have with this question is that you actually tell the answer. Like, if it's how, how much, like I, is, I expect the total amount. The first thing I see is charts. But they, because they have different, th you know, different components. Um, now I have to, you know, review that. So this is the average amount. I really like that because I think that's more relatable. If we think about somebody opening an individual, you know, like a small business as an individual, forty, sorry, four hundred seventy thousand dollar is what they, on average, got as a loan, which seems like a lot. But I don't really know about business lending. So I don't know if it's a lot or not. Um, but I wouldn't expect the average amount because then the average should be named in the title. If we're saying how much has been lent from, from or better, since 2009, I expect a total number. And I don't get that anywhere. Um, I get average month. Is it the month? Like how many months the loan is good for? Because that would be a lot. <laughs> um, that's, yep. What's what's the average month thing? That's really kind of strange. And then the loan, average loan. Okay, I get that. And then the total job. So it's the total jobs, but it's average loan. It's a bit of a, the mixed levels of detail that I included here or, or aggregations that you've included. So I would like some clarity on what am I looking at? The, if the average amounts are the focus and it's totally fine, then make that clear in your title as well. Uh, I do like the clean layout. It's not really cluttered. I can filter, I think, but it's an image, so I can't test it out. Um, and the loan status, I would suggest to update that to a proper English word. So that looks like cancelled. Um, charge off, I don't know, exempt and NA. So spell those out into proper English words so that people can actually understand them and then use them as filters. Uh, yeah. And when you look at things like this, so average amount of approved loan by date, we can clearly see that the average amount has almost doubled between 2009 and 2022. So why not spell that out? Why not point out, even it seems obvious, but people looking at this don't all have the data literacy or the, just the knowledge and the experience to just draw that conclusion. So point out something that's interesting about this chart. In this case, it would be, you know, it used to be so and so much. Now it's so and so much. 
that's an increase of almost 50%. Um, I mean, why is that? Is it just inflation? You know, whatever it could be. But I think that would be a really good addition to make. The data sources included as good. Make sure to include your credentials as well. So who you are um, and maybe, I don't know if you have a website or something. Okay. Um, I think, oh dear, sorry. <laughs> um, I think that's all the visitors, actually. Let's let's check a bit further. There's pizza data, alcohol consumption, pizza. Yeah, I think we're done. We're done already. That was very quick um, because that's been all the visits that I could find. I hope you found that useful. Leave a comment if you did. And um, I don't know yet if Andy is doing Watch Me Viz next week because we're on holiday. There won't be this review, um, but it'll be back afterwards. So... Have a good rest of your week. Uh, take this feedback and use it in any way you can. And um, actually, I'm make myself big to say goodbye. Um, yeah, take care. Have a good rest of the week. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.